Hey everybody, you know what's so great about being me? That's right, you guessed it, pretty much fucking everything. In fact, many of the things that fill me with murderous rage are pretty trivial when you compare the emotional intensity of my reactions to them to the severity of the actual offense itself. That said, here's my top five things that really piss me off way more than they should. Please note that this does not include the gradually changing brightness of the light bulb in this room, which I did not notice while filming and which has proven to be the bane of my existence while editing. When people take forever to ask you for shit. Hey, are you busy right now? No. Can I ask you a favor? What is it? Are you sure you don't mind? Depends. What is it? Well, I don't have a spoon, but I really need a spoon. Can you hand me that spoon? Here. Thanks. So much goddamn time was wasted. Look, here's how you do this. Can you hand me that spoon? Here. Thanks. A plus, your intrusion on my train of thought was minimal. Four. That persistent delusion that if you were picked on growing up, that you'll get your revenge later in life when the people who picked on you are now working for you. Let's be real here. Smart but marginalized people are everywhere, and odds are you are not going to be the special little snowflake that hits it big. This line of thinking doesn't make the world a better place, and it just serves to turn the pitiable into the insufferable by fostering an entitled ass attitude that is just as obnoxious as the actions of the people who bullied them during adolescence. An adolescence that is protracted well into adulthood by the expectation that things are just going to come easier to them in time. It's better to understand that in order to truly triumph over your persecutors, it takes determination, compassion, and a thick skin. Success and vengeance are not things you are bound to achieve, and the latter isn't even something you should aspire to. TNT by ACDC. He says he's TNT, then he says he's dynamite. I guess he can't make up his fucking mind! TNT is an abbreviation for the chemical compound trinitrotoluene. Dynamite is a mixture of the chemical compound nitroglycerin with diatomaceous earth or other similar substances in order to stabilize it for safer use. They are not the same explosives at all. As a powerful explosive myself, I don't like it when our differences are trivialized. To lump us all into the same category is not only insensitive, it is frankly racist. <laughs> when a YouTube video is titled as a cover of a song, and then you click on it, and somebody is playing or singing along to the original recording. That's not a fucking cover! Now, I'm not opposed to the practice of people making videos like this, quite the contrary. Flex your musical muscles, you magnificent melodic magician. But categorize your shit right. What you just made was a goddamn remix, so label it properly, please. I meant to say properly, but I couldn't say properly properly. Fuck. Now, I'm sure if I were to call people out on this, they would debate me up and down, but what is not subject to debate is the definition of the word itself. So if the original recording is in your version, then it is a matter of fact that it is not a cover. I search for covers because I like to hear covers, because I like to hear a from the ground up recreation of the original song. I specifically don't want to hear the original audio in there at all. If I wanted to hear it in there with some sort of spice, I would search for a remix, because that's what a remix is. This, that, not the same fucking thing. When people imitate the song at the beginning of The Lion King. No, I really love this movie and this song, so it annoys the living fucking shit out of me when I hear people butcher it. If I wanted to hear incomprehensible gibberish set to Disney music, I'd probably hook you up to a car battery and shock you to death, and then auto-tune the results. <laughs> now, it's amazing to me that such a specific berserk mode trigger comes up so often, but now that I've mentioned it, you're probably going to realize just how commonplace it is the next time you encounter it. Yeah, why does that bother you so much? Why won't you stay dead? Ooh, now I'm all up in your face. So there you have it. Those are the top five things that really piss me off way more than they should. Do you have unreasonably strong feelings for otherwise stupid and inconsequential things? Then please, tell me all about it, because this shit is fucking fascinating. I want to hear about your emotional problems. Yes.